Hi everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Bo, and on this video we're going to be taking a look at a bathroom remodel that we did on a house we recently flipped in a small town in Minnesota. To get started, first thing I did was take apart the old vanity and cabinets. These are old built-in cabinets. The house is from the early 1900s, so it's held up pretty well for given how old it is. After I got that out, I had to take out this big, heavy radiator heater that was in every single room. They are very heavy, very hard to move. Here I'm taking apart some of the subfloor underneath the tub. Apparently it had some water damage over the years. Uh, just There was two layers of flooring and I took off some of the top layer so I could uh, get a nice smooth subfloor for when we installed all of our flooring and bathtub. You'll notice that we rearranged all of the bathtub and toilet and vanity. It wasn't laid out super well when they originally built it. And being that we were tearing everything apart anyways, we ended up just from below, the room below, we took down the ceiling and were able to reroute the plumbing and put things where it made more sense and just fit a lot better. So we get a lot better end product. Here I am putting up backer board. I have a specific brand that I like to use, which I'll link in the description below. But uh, the reason I like it is because it's already waterproofed. You don't have to go over it with a waterproofing membrane like you do with other cement boards. Um, all you have to do is screw it in place and then go over the seams with some silicone caulking or something like that to make sure that no water can get behind those seams. Now here I'm getting started on the tile work. First thing I do is tape all the seams with mortar and fiber tape. Then I have a, a laser level that I like to use when I'm tiling. Uh, it helps you first set the first row of tiles nice and level and then you can work your way up off of that and you should stay pretty level even though I still check it as I go. In this shower we decided to do corner shelves because all the walls were exterior walls so I couldn't build any shower nooks or anything like that built into the wall so I, to have a little bit of storage space I like to make these shelves. Um, they hold up well for me. I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, they're just two, two or three pieces of tile cut at, a, at an angle and then you just mortar them together and then put a tile in the front of them and they look pretty nice when they're done. Next is grouting the tile. Went with a similar color of grout to the tile color so it blends in. Didn't do any contrast on this one.
and I'm using grout caulking on all the corners so that it doesn't crack in the future. I still like my tape method. It might not be the most efficient, but it does leave nice smooth or nice straight seams, so that's why I do it. Being that we put in new drywall, I had to prime before I could paint. And as you'll see in a little bit here, I end up putting shiplap on all the walls, but I still painted it um, behind the shiplap just because you'll be able to see some of the wall through the gap on the shiplap, and so you don't want it to be uh, bright white. You want it to kind of more blend in with your shiplap. Now I'm installing the vinyl plank floors. I got my little helper here. It's our bulldog puppy, his name's Keto. He's not so little anymore, but he was just a puppy when I was working on this house. I like using vinyl planks in the bathrooms because they're waterproof, they're easy to install, and then you can get them, they make them where they look like tile, which is what these ones are meant to look like. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but rather than wood, they look like uh, big tile pieces. Here's the new vanity that I'm putting in. Uh, we wanted to get a white vanity, but it was kind of difficult to find supplies as we were doing this house, as I'm sure other people have had that issue too. Um, so we weren't able to get the white one, but they had a gray one in stock. So we ended up going with the gray, which I don't love because there's a lot of gray in this bathroom, probably too much, especially when you see the ship lap here in a bit. Here I am getting started with the shiplap. Like I said, I'm not super happy with how this turned out. In hindsight, I wish we wouldn't have done the shiplap. I think it's too much gray, it clashes too much with the tile color. They're too similar in color. I wish we would have just left it as it was and left it painted drywall, uh, but we didn't. And the buyer ended up saying that they really liked the bathroom and they loved the shiplap, so I guess it worked out in the end, but Personally, I think it's a little too much going on and wish we would have left it just the way it was. So that's the whole bathroom renovation right there. Here's some before and after pictures of the whole project. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Did you like how we laid out the bathroom with moving the vanity and the tub and the toilet? Uh, did you like the shiplap or did you not like the shiplap? Uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to be having more videos coming out soon of this whole house, so stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and tell a friend. Thank you.